Hi everyone, we're continuing to discuss how to launch your marketplace. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the money flow in CSCart Multivendor. And this is what we'll learn. When money goes to the marketplace, when money goes to vendors, and when money is split automatically. The basic model is when all the money goes to the marketplace owner. A customer pays for the order, and the marketplace owner receives the money. Using the vendor plan's add-on, the admin charges vendors for commissions and fees for selling on his marketplace, and after that, sends the income to each vendor. After the payment, all the money goes to the marketplace, but the vendor's share gets listed on the vendor's account balance. Vendors can request withdrawal all the money at any time. It is up to you how to transfer the funds. Once you do that, you can mark the transaction as completed. So, what are the pros and cons of this model? Pros. It is easier for vendors to come to a marketplace and start selling products. A customer pays just once. Cons. A marketplace owner has to pay the money they owe to vendors. Vendors receive their money after a while. Another way to deal with money in a marketplace is automatic fund transfer to vendors using payment systems such as Stripe Connect and PayPal Commerce Platform. How does it work? The customer pays for the order, then a payment system splits the money between vendors and the administrator. The admin receives their commissions, and the vendors get the money for the products. Also, the payment system can charge the fee of the marketplace. Pros and cons are the following. Pros. A customer pays just once. Vendors can receive the money shortly after the payment. Marketplace owner does not have to split the income between vendors. Cons. Vendors need to have their own PayPal or Stripe accounts, and they must connect them to the marketplace. The payment systems can charge their own fees. And the last model is so-called direct customer to vendor payments. In this case, if a customer wants to buy three products from three different vendors, they have to make three payments. The customer uses the payment methods offered by those vendors. This functionality is provided by the direct customer to vendor payments add-on. By the way, another big advantage of using the direct customer to vendor payments is that vendors are able to create and use their own promotions. So, each vendor gets all their money, and the commission for this transaction becomes their debt to the marketplace. The vendor can pay off their debt using the vendor to admin payments add-on. All they have to do is go to the dashboard and click the refill balance button. The pros and cons of these direct payments are the following. Pros. A marketplace owner does not have to pay the money they owe to vendors. Vendors receive the money right after the payment. Cons. A customer has to pay each vendor separately, and they cannot make just one payment. Each vendor has to create their own payment methods. By the way, you can always try it by yourself if you go to cscar.com and get your own personal demo. I will attach the link in the description below. So, in this video we've learned three models of money flow in a marketplace. If you want to know more about each of these models, you can find the videos on our YouTube channel.